So I thought to try some of the other selection that was available as well from We Are One Film Festival. So I saw Rude Boy, the story of George on records. Now, in Britain, it was very popular to um, sort of implement the genre itself of ska and reggae and dub. And include them in various formats, which would lead to two tone over in the 80s. And some of the stuff that you see with the hip hop and dance hall movements right now, Channel U, Specials, Madness, you know, that sort of thing. But did you know about the history of some of the other groups, particularly like uh, Desmond Decker and um, all the other groups as well that were very popular at that time? I didn't know too much about the genre itself, but it was a very interesting documentary nonetheless. So. Uh, there's a lot to learn, especially if you're someone who likes music. Uh, Pauline Black of The Selector and Don Letts, who's directed a few Clash music videos, uh, makes his appearance on some of the um, segments in the film as well. He also talks a lot about cultural issues of well, uh, Jamaican immigrants coming to Britain over in the uh, 60s and 70s, which um, was very important, what they call the Windrush Generation. Um, many of them settled over in the West Midlands and sort of made a name for themselves in those sort of places and, you know, of course, London. And then also I saw another film that dealt with other cultural issues as well called Marbo. That was from Australia. Now, Australia's film industry is sort of ho-hum here and there, ho-hum here and there. Yeah, but this one was actually pretty good um, in many ways. It also is reminiscent of films like The Sapphires and Rabbit Proof Fence and Brand New Day, uh, films that you probably haven't heard of, um, which is about the Aboriginal struggle and the Indigenous people. Nightingale was another film last year that dealt with similar issues, but this one is certainly a little bit more mild and more uh, safe for the eyes and ears. It's not Nightingale or nastiness. But I thought it was very important and it needed to be said and needed to be made and I'm glad I saw it. I hope to see Mystery Road, which will be on the film festival, I believe, tomorrow as well. Even though it's already been released many years ago, I'll still give it a try nonetheless. So um, if you do like uh, this video, feel free to watch some of my other reviews that I've done for other films that I liked as well from the We Are One Film Festival. This is Skinny Ebert signing off. Until next time, keep on watching.